Hi all and welcome to this video about using the water supply section of Ecamm. In this section I will talk about water supply in general and then the three stages of water supply abstraction, treatment, and distribution. So that I can show you all, I have created an assessment. It's called water supply. The assessment period is one year and I've used Jordan as a country. When we go over to the inventory, you can see that there is some general information for the water supply. I've already entered 45,000 people as my resident population. As always, this general information doesn't actually calculate your greenhouse gas emissions, but gives some context to the assessment. So if you want, you could also include the costs of the facility you're evaluating. What I will do is go through each stage and then finally for distribution, I will enter some data so you can see how it works. It's relatively similar for each stage because the emissions from water supply actually are only indirect emissions. That means that all emissions come from energy use in one way or another. That means that, especially compared to sanitation, it's a relatively simple assessment. So taking a look at abstraction, I'm going to create a substage and now I can see the data that I have to enter for it if I want to evaluate abstraction. Here it is the volume of abstracted water and the energy consumed from the grid. The emission factor is then estimated for me. Of course, you can change it and just filling in the energy consumed from the grid already results in the GHG emissions being calculated. There's also a few other options. These options also look similar across the categories for water supply. If you have fuel engines, then you can enter a volume of fuel consumed. You should also have that um, recorded for your utility. And then you can also evaluate pumping efficiency. That is something I will go more into afterwards. If we move on to treatment, we can see that it doesn't look very different. The same basic options and inputs. The only new input is this treatment type, which is a drop-down menu based on the characteristics of your facility. And what these acronyms mean is you can see here when you access the detailed information about the treatment. So you can then select which treatment chain is being used uh, for in your facility. Okay, distribution also doesn't look very different. You have, in this case, service population. I'm going to enter it as 45,000 again. Volume of water injected into the system in this case 171,550 meters cubed. Remember that this should be per year. Um, so that's how many meters cubed per year. Um, energy consumed from the grid, 184,300. And now we can see already if we show the outputs that there is a value for GHG emissions. We can also say that we are transporting water in trucks, for example, and say that we use this. I'll just use the number of 5,000 liters of diesel per year. And you can see that that also pops up as emissions from distribution. The other option that I wanted to talk more about is evaluating pumping efficiency. This gives you the, avail the ability to, to evaluate how well the pumps in the facility are working. This is something that people use fairly, fairly frequently also in Ecamm, and that's why I will make another video describing how to enter pumping efficiency. I hope that this video helped you all understand a bit about water supply in Ecamm and that you all will check out other videos if you have more questions. Thanks for listening and happy assessing.